Hello and welcome to our discussion on accounting. The focus of today's session is economic value added. We know that economic value added is one of the non-GAAP performance indicators. So it is not statutory or mandatory for any company to show the economic value added. So economic value added is more a managerial tool rather than a statutory requirement. But before we calculate EVA, which is the focus of our session, in this session we will try to calculate EVA from the information given in the balance sheet, income statement and cash flow statement. But before we do that, let us recap with the economic value added. The economic value added is the excess of net operating profit after tax but before interest minus over the capital charge. The net operating profit uh, before tax, before interest and after tax is also known as the unlevered profit. We are removing the effect of leverage from the profit and we transfer that to the capital charge. So the no pad is an adjusted profit and is adjusted for the financing decision. So no pad is equal to pad plus interest into 1 minus T. But here I would like to mention that in this at this stage we are assuming that there are no accounting adjustments. Otherwise we need to make some accounting adjustments to find no pad for calculation of EVA. So no pad without accounting adjustments is a pad plus interest into 1 minus T. Capital charge is equal to weighted average cost of capital into the capital employed. And the weighted average cost of capital recognizes the cost of equity, cost of debt and also the debt equity ratio. The capital employed is debt plus equity plus interest bearing current liabilities like short term loans, bank overdraft. Capital employed can also be calculated as total assets minus non-interest bearing current liabilities like creditors, outstanding expenses. But in this case also we are assuming that there are no accounting adjustments. If the accounting adjustments would have been there, the capital employed will also be increased or decreased to the extent of the accounting adjustments, which we will see in the later part of our discussion. So with this understanding that economic value added is the excess of no pat over the capital charge, we'll take an example to understand to calculate the EVA. Now suppose this is the information given, the balance sheet given and some transactions are given. Let us first complete the gap driven financial statements then from that information we will use to find the EVA. So the opening cash in hand as usual will be picked up from the balance sheet. Sales is given as 300,000 and we assume the sales to be for cash. And whenever there is a sale, there has to be the cost of goods sold. And the cost of goods sold is 50%, 50% of the stock. So as a result, the stock will come down to the extent of 75,000. Rent for the period, 50,000. And the rent has been assumed to be paid. So therefore, is an outflow of cash. Salary is 20,000 and salary is also paid during the period and salary is salary is 20,000 salary is 20,000 uh, depreciation for the period is 20,000 and depreciation is a non cash item but will increase the uh, the accumulated depreciation the depreciation will increase the accumulated depreciation to 180,000 180,000 um, ok so 20 ok and interest on the short term loan and interest on long term loan 
interest on the long term loan is 0 0.10 and interest on the short term loan is 12% 0 0.12 and let us assume that we pay that interest fully during the period. So 10 plus 12, 22,000. So interest has been paid fully and interest has been calculated on the balance which is shown on the incomes on the balance sheet. Um, since all items have been recognized and taken into the financial statement, we can find the profit before tax and the profit before tax is equal to 113,000. Let us assume that we are calculating the tax on the book profit. So therefore tax is equal to 113 into 0 0.30 into 0 0.30 and we also assume that the tax has been paid during the period. So after the tax, the profit after tax can be calculated. If no information is given, we transfer the entire pad we transfer the entire pad to the reserve that means we retain the profits entire profit for the reinvestment then we can find the cash in hand now cash in hand is equal to cash available minus the cash payment so cash available is 500,000 and cash payment is 125,900 so cash will be transferred to the balance sheet so cash flow statement done and the balance sheet done. So we'll close the balance sheet now. No change in the capital, no change in the loan, no change in the creditor, no change in the short term liabilities or loans. So the total sources are 829. No change in the plant original cost, no change in the debtor. So the balance sheet tallies. So we converted the transactions into financial statements. Now we will use this information to find economic value added with a given additional information that the cost of equity is 20,000. Now as we mentioned here, the determination of EVA requires no pad and capital charge. So we will we'll do that now. So the no pad calculation we use the formats which are given here. So the no pad calculation can be pad. We'll use the pad is 79,000. Add back interest, add back interest, less the tax benefits on interest. Tax shield when the leverage effect is taken off, the tax shield will also be not there. So therefore, 94,000, 94,500 is the NOPAT of the company. NOPAT is 94, 94,000. Okay, so 94,500. We can also find NOPAT as, as directly PAT plus interest into 1 minus T. Interest into 1 minus T is 0.7, so therefore the no pad is equal to 94,500. It's also possible to find no pad from directly from the sales. So sales is 300,000, COGS is 75,000, rent is 50,000, salary is 20,000, depreciation is 20,000, will not take the interest. So the net profit before no pad before um, in tax is equal to 300 minus 165 and then the tax is 0 0.30 so therefore the no pad is equal to 94,500 so we can find the no pad either from the sales we can find the no pad as a pad plus interest less tax benefits of interest or we can find no pad by adding interest into 1 minus t to the profit. So in this question, the PAT is 79,100, whereas the no PAT is 94,500, because it is an adjusted profit and adjusted for the leverage effect, that is the interest and the tax benefits. 
Now we'll find the capital employed. The capital employed is equity. Let us make an assumption that we are using the closing equity. It is possible to make a different assumption there. So closing equity is 529,100 is the capital plus reserve. The long term debt is 100,000. The short term debt is also 100,000. So the total capital employed is 729,100. The cost of equity is given. The cost of equity has been given as 20%. So we take that as 20% as the cost of equity. The long term debt cost, the rate of interest is 10%. The cost is I into 1 minus T. So therefore 10% into 10% into 0 0.70 0 0.70 so 0 0.70 okay so 10% and uh, in case of short term loans it is 12% into 0 0.70 so 8.4% is the cost of uh, debt for short term 7% is the cost of debt for long term and 20% given as the cost of equity. Now when you multiply the cost with the amount, you get the capital charge. So capital charge, the summation is 121,220. So now we can find the EVA. EVA is equal to 94,000 minus 121,200. So EVA is negative. So you can see that the profit is there positive uh, whereas the company is not able to generate sufficient notepad to meet the cost of cost of capital. Now it, we can ask a question that is it possible to change the EVA to positive? There are several ways in which EVA can be converted to positive or the negative EVA can be reduced. And that can be seen by seeing the balance sheet. We can see that the balance sheet is having huge um, uh, idle cash sitting on the balance sheet. So this cash can be used either to reduce the capital or reserves, that means reduce equity, or this cash can be used to pay back liabilities, or this cash can be used to create some other investments which can give us which will give the business more return. Let us pick up one of these decisions um, that is for the distribution of, suppose we say that we distribute dividend to the extent of 250,000. All other things remaining constant. If we distribute dividend, there is a cash outflow. So the reserves will go down. The reserves will go down because of the distribution dividend when the reserves goes down the equity has come down all other things remaining constant when equity goes down the cost of capital or in other word capital charge reduces to 71,220 the NOPAT remaining constant at 94,500 the capital charge remain reducing to 71,200, the EVA has become positive. The positive EVA is because the equity has come down. And equity has come down because the dividend has been paid. The dividend has been paid because there are reserves and also cash. But this is one of the ways the companies can take a decision to use the surplus cash either to pay back the equity, reduce equity or to pay back liabilities or create investment. So therefore, managing EVA is managing no pad and managing no pad means managing the operations. Managing EVA is also managing WAC that means managing the capital structure or managing EVA is managing capital employed that means to reduce the amount of the capital employed in the process you reduce debt or in the process you reduce equity. 
So economic value added is called non-GAAP because you bring in the cost of equity which is not a GAAP requirement. Economic value added is also called non-GAAP because it is possible to make accounting adjustment to make the balance sheet to reflect the economic reality. Thank you.